jewels this Clavrat herself had bought. The Grey Wolf jumped her and knocked her down, tore off all of the gems and gold. And before the Queen caught her, she'd shredded that gown down to the poor girl's petticoat hems. I'm awfully sorry about your gown! She's never done anything like this before! It must be the noise or the crowds or the stress! Then Miss Claverett's ex-husband walked in the door. <laughs> mm -hmm. He didn't even have time to scream, ere the, no the dog bit off his nose with one snap. Wait, do I tell a lie? I'm not sure she jumped that high. In any case, she bit <laughs> off a small scrap. <laughs> the queen said, They've harmed her in the past. For this my grey wolf shall not be killed. Her wicked old owners are found at last. Arrest them both and have them both grilled. So they threw her ex in a dungeon cell where he cries like a baby, and that's when they learn the wolf is his wife who is under a spell, mm. and he burned her clothes so she wouldn't return. The queen called for her gold boots and her green gown. They would be Miss Clavrette's alone to take. And her coat with nine colors striped up and down. But the wolf just hid and averted her eyes. What's wrong? Go on. They're for you to take. An old lady said, she's ashamed, that's all. Let her do this in your room, for God's sake. Don't make her try it out here in the hall. But she's got no opposable thumbs right now. She can't possibly button up on her own. You'll just have to trust that she knows somehow. So they left the wolf with the clothes alone. The queen was pacing and just starting to think, if that's really a wolf, what a fool I will look. When Bis Claverett came out and embraced the queen in human form with the clothes she took. The queen then kissed her a hundred times, gave her back all of her gold and her lands. All she had lost through her husband's crimes, the queen returned to Bis Claverett's hands. The noseless ex was sent into exile, appropriately, to lead a lonely existence. No further women could he beguile. They knew why he'd lost it and kept their distance. Perhaps the moral is, watch your clothes. Perhaps not all creeps have missing noses. But the wolf and the queen loved each other for keeps. And that is where this story closes. <laughs> <laughs>